mkurugenzi mtendaji wa kituo cha uwekezaji Tanzania TIC Geoffrey Mwambe amekutana na kufanya mazungumzo na balozi wa Denmark nchini Tanzania Enel Jensen miongoni mwa mambo ambayo wameyazungumza ni pamoja na wawekezaji nchini Denmark kuja kuwekeza Tanzania kwani kuna mazingira mazuri ya uwekezaji akizungumza na waandishi wa habari Mwambe amesema balozi Jensen amekuwa mdau mkubwa katika kuhakikisha kuna kuwa na mazingira mazuri ya uwekezaji na kuyafanyia biashara um, leo e, tumeweza kukutana na e, mheshimiwa balozi Aina Jensen e, ni balozi wa e, Denmark nchini Tanzania ambaye ni rafiki mkubwa wa shughuli za biashara au sekta ya biashara na uwekezaji Tanzania. E, balozi Aina e, amekuwa kwa kwa, e, kwa muda sasa aki, akisukuma e, uimarishaji wa mahusiano kati ya Tanzania na Denmark na lakini pia e, orientation yake kwa kiasi kikubwa ni kuhakikisha kwamba mazingira ya biashara na kasa wasawa. Na Denmark kipekee huwa ina support e, mazingira yetu ya biashara ina support pia e, taasisi ya sekta binafsi TPSF lakini pia ina support e, local investment climate e, initiative LIC ambazo wamesaidia wame, wame sana nchi nzima e, na hasa Dodoma, Kigoma na maeneo kama hayo kwa kisha kwamba e, taratibu za kuwezesha wafanyabiashara wajasiria mali zinawekwa vizuri na kupunguza urasimu mkubwa ambayo upo lakini pia e, wanasaidia ya PAS e, ambayo e, ni taasisi ya e, ambayo inasaidia kutafuta masoko na na, 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 na kuhamasisha e, kilimo na hasa bidhaa za kilimo ambayo ni eneo muhimu sana kwa sababu inabeba watu wengi sana e, wa Tanzania ambao wanashiriki kwenye kilimo <coughs> lakini pia amekuwa e, akihamasisha na makampuni ya Denmark kuja kuwekeza nchini na e, moja ya kampuni ambayo wengi unafahamu kuna Kowi e, wani wale consultants ambao wamekuwa kwa muda mrefu hapa kushirikiana na serikali kwenye miradi mingi ya serikali ya maji barabara nini Kowi wamekuwa kushiriki sana lakini pia e, kuna kampuni ya e, Imaging Power Market e, ambayo e, EMP e, ambayo wanataka kuwekeza kwenye umeme kwa kutumia e, sola kwa kutumia upepo e, kule Dodoma Dodoma na Singida pia eneo ambalo lina upepo mwingi sana na wamefanya feasibility study tayari wana mitambo iko kule e, wana wapo kwenye hatua za mwisho kuweza ku, ku, kuanza uwekezaji wao pale nayo ni kampuni ya e, Denmark e, kwa kiasi kikubwa lakini pia na Denmark tunafahamu wanatumia sana umeme mwingi wanaotumia Denmark ni wa ni wa ni wa ni wa upepo na tumeza zile windmills ambazo zina zinazunguka zi. ambazo of course zikikaa sehemu kwenye nayo inapendeza hata wakati tuna kwa wale urefu wa Denmark wakati tunaenda unaingia Denmark Copenhagen na kabla hapo hata baharini baharini kabisa kilomita nyingi na bahari wameweka hizo ni windmills nyingi zaidi ya elfu ngapi hizo yatengeza umeme mwingi sana kwa hiyo e, ni, ni watu ambao wame, wame advance kwenye hilo eneo. Lakini pia e, kampuni ya Denmark e, Hado Topse ni kampuni ambayo inashirikiana na Frostal ya Ujerumani pamoja na Fauji ya Pakistan e, kutengeneza kampuni kubwa ambayo tumeisajili mwaka jana hapa ya Tanzania e, Mbolea and Petrochemicals e, Company Limited Tamco ambayo tumesema wanataka kutengeneza e, wanataka kuweka kiwanda kikubwa sana kule Kilwa Lindi cha kuzalisha mbolea kwa kutumia gas eh, ambapo sasa hivi eh, eh, tuko kwenye hatua za mwisho za, za kukubaliana eh, bei ambayo watai, eh, watailipa eh, TPDC ambayo ndio msambazaji eh, mkubwa wa gesi nchini eh, gesi asilia ili iweze kuitumia hiyo kwa kubadilisha sasa hiyo eh, gesi kwenda kwenye urea eh, na baadaye kuchanganya na ammonium kutengeneza eh, mbolea kwa upande wake Balos Jensen amesema nchi hizo mbili zimekuwa kwenye ushirikiano mkubwa kwa miaka hamsini na kwamba nchi ya Denmark imekuwa ikisaidia katika mambo mbalimbali yanayohusu uwekezaji. It's a pleasure to be here today Mr. Mambe. Uh, and uh, you're right Denmark has been a close friend of Tanzania for more than 50 years. We have been very much engaged in the improving business uh, 
and we, as you mentioned, uh, we're supporting PASS, private agriculture sector support program that provide credit facilities for farmers. Last year, 170,000 farmers got actually loans to improve uh, production. Uh, we work through Agricultural Markets Development Trust that we support. Uh, we support LIC, as you also mentioned. So we are very much involved in improving business. And I think uh, what you have done and Tanzania has done in preparing this blueprint on reforms in the business environment is excellent work. Uh, now the difficult part of course is to implement it and we will be more than happy to come and assist you on that because uh, right now Tanzania is number 137 on doing business in the World Bank Index and I'm sure you can improve that. It just takes you to implement some of these reforms and we will be very happy to assist on that road. Just like I will continually commit myself to bring in investment to Tanzania. We've had a couple of business delegations here and I think just to mention two of the big projects opportunities here in Tanzania. One is wind energy. You have a lot of wind here. Wind measurement shows that it's very feasible to do wind farms in Tanzania at a good uh, cost also and uh, we are engaged. We have convinced Danish investors to come to Dodoma and look at the first wind farm uh, just outside Dodoma. You saw it in Copenhagen uh, when you were there in June and it is very feasible and and you can have them close by and it's green energy. Um, we're so I'm sure the Danish companies will participate in the tender that is out right now uh, for pr providing wind energy. Also very important, we believe that uh, Tanzania needs more fertilizer. The farmers are only having 10 kg per, on average per hectare now. Uh, so if we can <coughs> initiate or set up the first fertilizer plant in Tanzania, uh, this would what I would like to see together with you uh, that can get on that road. Then Tanzania could quickly grow to beyond 10 kg per hectare to 30. your output from the farmers. So it could be the start of a green revolution for the farmers here in Tanzania that would be a big benefit for farmers and for your agricultural production. We remain committed to finalize the negotiations and quickly get the start of the fertilizer factory building up and running. Thank you very much.